first of all, we're with GameZombie.tv, and um, we want, we just saw your uh, talk, and I found it really cool and inspiring, and um, and I agree with like a lot of stuff that you're presenting, and so it's cool. And so like I kind of get a lot of the whole world stuff uh, all around me. Do you think there's like a continuum between uh, game and world? Absolutely. How does storytelling in games, where does that fit into that continuum? I think that storytelling is going to fall into the world stuff for the most part because it's all about making the experience more meaningful uh, and more immersive for the most part. You know, the gaming stuff is, is stuff that tends to be more artificial and often stilted, but it also tends to be basically shortcuts to fun, and the story stuff is basically the opposite of that. So, you know, in, in terms of what we're building now, uh, we're leaning heavily on the uh, story stuff because we're a Bioware game, uh, and that's going to be where a lot of our worldly properties go. And for balance, we're going to have more classic uh, uh, mechanics for a lot of the other systems. And that's, that's sort of an intentional decision. How do you feel about like games as like a form of art? Do you think that that's like a like a oxymoron, or do you think that that can work? Oh, I think they absolutely can be art. Um, I think that the ones that truly are art tend to actually uh, not fit well onto the uh, uh, onto that curriculum very well. Uh, when I think about uh, a game with good, uh, there was a game called September Twelfth, uh, which is really interesting, and I'm not even sure where it would fall in the world game community triangle, but it was all about. Uh, it was a very well put political message about how killing terrorists makes more terrorists. Uh, and it was a completely unwinnable game, uh, but it had a very poignant and strong artistic message whether or not you happen to agree with that message or not. So, you know, I, I think that uh, it's definitely possible for games to uh, be art, uh, for games to have a message, for games to be uh, relevant both socially, politically, etc., etc. You're working as a lead combat designer right now, right? Um, so, can you tell us a little bit about like what, how your like daily job goes, like for people who aren't familiar with the industry? Uh, so my job is the thing about designers inside the game industry is that we uh, tend to uh, our job requirements are very, very much determined by what progress the other departments have made. So, uh, game designers at the beginning of a project, we sort of design what the game is actually going to be, how it's going to work, and why it's going to be fun. We then ask the programmers and the artists for a whole bunch of stuff, and then they give it back to us. And it's our job to sort of assemble it, to build the levels, to build the uh, you know if you're building if you have a class-based system to actually build the classes, the powers, with whatever architecture they have, hook up the uh, particle effects, whatever else that, that's required for that. So you know we're pretty much heavy on the beginning of the project to heavy on the end of the project, uh, and sort of in the middle we're sort of waiting for stuff to come online. Cool. Well, thanks a lot for your time. We really appreciate it.